Okay, this is not great. So, once again, same as we had on the last virtual, we've got a hyena that's skulking around here close to the den. So what a fantastic start to the new episode of the Virtual Safari. We've come back to our, to our leopard den and we've got one of the cubs here lying on the most picturesque branch. Still so chilled and so relaxed and again what a privilege to be in the company of such a beautiful little cat. I mean how can you not love that little face? So I believe the other one is around here somewhere so we're going to try and see if we can get another one. On the last episode we only got one cub. So hopefully this afternoon we'll get the second one. So I think this is definitely the more relaxed one out of the two cubs. The other cub is lying just to the left of me on the other side opposite to this cub on a branch. But hiding behind these magic quarries like thinking that it hasn't been seen yet. So this one's definitely the more confident little character. So here we finally have another view of the cup, just looking towards us now, the more shyer one. So a very good morning to everyone. So I didn't properly introduce the virtual fire last night due to us having a, a very quick start and getting back to the leopard den. But we're back this morning and we've given everyone else a chance to go in first and we've come back last. And I've got one of the cubs here in the most beautiful light. I'll show you quickly. So this little cub has come back onto the log again. I think it's the same one that we had yesterday. So chilled that we must be about, I'd say, close to 10 meters away from this little cub lying on the log and it's so beautiful and it's amazing how relaxed they are. I really hope that they can just keep being relaxed and hopefully take these good interactions with vehicles and remember them and give us some good sightings in the future and obviously I don't think we can name them now they are still very young and there's a lot of trials ahead of them so I think hopefully with time they'll get older and they'll survive and once they get to a reasonable age we'll be able to give them names which should be exciting to follow their story and journey. So as the mornings progress the little cubs have gotten a bit more confident and come out more. See one of the, I don't know if it's the male or the female cub, I don't actually know if they're both male or female like I said yesterday, has gone ahead of me and it seems as though this one's the one that's been left behind. So again a really beautiful afternoon spent with these two cubs. We finally got two of them in one shot which was really great and it seems that they're getting a bit more relaxed now. Look at that one at the top of the tree there poking his head around he or she I'm not sure yet still who's male or female. Okay this is not great. So once again, same as we had on the last virtual, we've got a hyena that's skulking around here close to the den. Just walking around, this little leopard is very alert and can obviously hear it walking behind me. These little leopard cubs are definitely going to, no, don't walk towards it. Okay, the hyena's coming here next to me, hopefully this little leopard just knows what's going on and can bolt. Okay, 
Just stay still, little cub. Just stay there. The other one should be fine on the top of that log, but this hyena is now walking straight towards this cub. The best thing this cub can do is just lie low and hopefully wait for the right moment to flee up a tree. I don't see many, but I'm sure their instinct will kick in. has moved back but is now right behind my vehicle. Okay, it looks like it's moving off for now. We should be in the clear hopefully. I mean you can just see at the top of the screen there there's the other little cub. And then we've got the more inquisitive one here on the ground. Very inquisitive the hyena has just moved off and it's coming to investigate. So this one looks like, if I'm not mistaken, a little female. So I personally think it was the little male that we had out of the other two that first appeared on the virtual safari and we had the incident with the hyena. And I thought that this one was a bit more shy. It turns out I think this one just had to get a bit used to our presence. And look at this little cat. I think they're both patiently waiting for Mama. They're, this is now the third afternoon we've spent with them, and I'm not sure if the mother's come back yet or not. I doubt it. So I think they're really hoping, and I am too, hoping that Mum comes back soon for them. So we are out this morning. We briefly went to check the leopard den of the two cubs. Unfortunately, they have moved on. Um, it was fun while it lasted, let's put it that way. But uh, yeah, once again, I've said enough about that sighting. But now we've got another leopard, which is really, really fantastic for us, but strange in terms of how the leopards have just come out of nowhere these days. Um, and it looks like it's a seca. Um, she's not here at the moment. There was a brief visual of her last night on the kill. Um, she's got an impala kill up in this tree hoisted here. Okay, so Saseka has revealed herself. She was lying here in the long grass all along close to the tree. So we're just going to give her a bit of space and see how she reacts. We'll move a bit closer. Oh, I can't tell you how great it is to see Saseka again. We obviously had her on the previous episode as well. But just to have another bit of constant sightings of her is great. I mean, we went. I'd say close to two months without any visual of her and just not knowing if she was still alive or if she'd gone to have cubs. Um, I don't know if she did have cubs and she lost them. There's no indication of suckle marks on her at the moment. So I'm not sure what the situation is there, but nevertheless, always good to, to see the main leopardess again. decided to go all the way up north to Skybeds Dam. We haven't been up here for a while um, due to the fact that the Mbiri Pride I think were reportedly seen on the Kruger boundary in this area yesterday and um, can kind of believe why they're hanging around here. Have a look at this massive herd of buffalo here at Skybeds. You can just see them in the distance there. The sun's starting to go down. There's a few dugger boys in front of me and the sound is just incredible. I, I'm really hoping the Mbiris either pull in this afternoon or tomorrow morning we'll come back and see if there's any action. But um, this has been one of the bucket list things to see a big herd of buffet like this at Skybeds Dam, so let's have a look. So it actually looks like we've just gotten the sort of end bit of the herd. But with all the dust that's been kicked up here and all the sounds, I'm sure the Mbiri Pride can't be too far from here. Okay, so this is a, a real surprise. 
guys on the virtual safari. We didn't go out this morning due to it being so windy. We thought the wind had dropped down but it's still quite windy as you can hear. But now we've come north back up to Skybeds again. There's a big breeding herd of buffalo still around Skybeds Dam. And uh, the reason why we came here was for this particular pride of lion, which I believe to be the squirrel pride. elderly lionesses at the back there. It looks like there's a young male off to the right and there's these two young males that are quite big actually. Quite decent sized males but very blonde and light maned. Which is quite interesting. I wonder who their fathers are. So I'm not sure if they're who's actually the dominant male of this pride is if it's um, possibly the Mbiri males that have come in here before and they control it or if it's other males that we don't actually know. Okay, so I've driven around and had a look and it looks like there's seems to be eight lionesses, young youngsters and old ones. Young being I'd say three years old. And um, old ones it's tough to say. But there's there's definitely a makeup of eight lionesses here and then there's three young males. So there's these two presumably brothers that are similar in age, I'd say close to three, maybe going on four. And um We've got another younger male here that's about two years of age. So it's a very cool dynamic, cool to see a different pride. Um, also, just the indication of how we actually don't know what goes on out here, especially all the way up in the north around Skybeds. Not many people drive here just to sort of bumble around and look for a specific pride. If any pride you're going to look for, it will probably be this one or maybe the Imbiris, even the Birmingham Pride or the Birmingham Break Breakaway Pride. So see this one but these young males are looking in very good condition and could easily pose a threat to um, to the Tinswalo males in the future to come I mean if they're around sky beds here following the buffalo herds there's no doubt that once they get a bit older and more confident that they'll push further south and and uh, west towards the so we'll have to see how that transpires Okay, so that brings this virtual safari to an end. It was really great to see the squirrel pride for the first time for myself, and I think also for the first time on the virtual safari. Good to, good to have some new faces and hopefully some new characters. And um, I'd say the main highlight, obviously, is those two new little leopard cubs. Hopefully they stick around, make it to adulthood, and give us some good sightings in the future. And then also really great to catch up with Saseka and see that amazing big herd of buffalo. So, we're going to leave the squirrel pride now to rest for the day. It is around one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we might, to start off a new episode, come back here and um, hang around Skybeds Dam the next few days and see if they try and kill a buffalo or two. And, um, that should be really interesting. If that does transpire. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that one, and we'll see you on the next one.